One of the biggest issues here um, is that she has been able to divide and conquer. Yes. yes I think. Um, yes. And you know, kids are really good at that, even from two, three years of age. Absolutely. They're really good at dividing and conquering. And she'll play up to you against her when it's convenient. She'll play up to right. you against him when it's convenient. She'll run to the grandparents when it's convenient. The problem is, she may have gotten what she wants, but she hasn't gotten what she's needed. Exactly. And there's something that I might offer down the road after we do something. In fact, I, I have a resource available. Joining us now is Nikomi Higgins. She's the Assistant Program Director of the Premier Treatment Center, Center for Discovery, which specializes in troubled, underachieving teens who struggle socially, academically, emotionally, and who need an intervention to stop the self-destructive pattern. Nicole, talk to us about the program that you and I have discussed that might be appropriate for Brittany at some time in the future. Yeah, Center for Discovery has been around for over 20 years. We've been helping families such as yours really navigate the struggles around depression, anxiety, addiction, most importantly, family conflict. Um, and so through our family therapy program, we would really work with you guys to not only explore, but confront the dynamics that are driving you guys apart and really fostering an environment of just disrespect and again, disconnection. And then with Brittany, it's clear that she's hurting. It's clear that she's angry. And our focus with her is respecting the fact that she does want to be independent, but really helping her understand that her anger and her hurt is resulting in behaviors that are really only hurting her and making it harder for her to, to achieve her goals. We're in our 16th season, and, and we've been able to work with people all over the country and have the ability to really reach out to the, the top programs in the country, and that's why Center for Discovery is here. They're top, top, top. And uh, I have that in the arsenal of what can be used here. It's not time for that yet. And I'll tell you why it's not time for that. Because she would come home to the same toxic environment that she has left. And this has to change. First off, I, I wanna say to all of you that I, I, postpartum depression, postpartum psychosis, is a very real medical condition. Mm -hmm. And one of the results is you can have an attachment disorder mm -hmm. can set in where a mother and child don't form that initial bond and that can fester across years and create real, real problems. Because of this failure to bond, because of this feeling of no attachment, because of this feeling of essentially being rejected by her mother, and so you get a real chip on your shoulder, yeah, and you start to say things to yourself that do make you really angry and, and really ready to fight and get them before they get you. So she has some very legitimate reasons mm -hmm. for being as angry and bitter as she is, and she looks for surrogates. Mm -hmm. And she has found surrogates exactly. in these people over here. And you might be resentful of that at times, but you should be very grateful that they've been willing to step up and right. love your child and support your husband and your family the way that they have when you've been at times that this disease is controlling you instead of you yeah. controlling it. Well, yeah. Ben here's kind of old school and he doesn't exactly understand exactly how all this works, but he has stepped up and done the right thing. And I, I, God bless you for doing that. Thank you. Um, and you guys have truly rewarded bad behavior. You mm -hmm. have violated some of the fundamental mm -hmm. principles of mm -hmm. parenting and you got the tail wagging the dog. Yeah. If I'm gonna ask you to do different, I need to show you different. And so I'm gonna yeah. get you some professional help that's gonna say, here's what we do instead. Okay. And if it gets to the point that that professional says she would benefit from some short-term intensive care, then we will call okay. Center for Discovery. We will put her there for a period of time with your permission mm -hmm. and do what we need to do. So we have 
a, a short-term plan and a long-term plan to get this young lady turned around and then, and then just watch her shine in her life. Awesome. Fair awesome. enough?